A good morning, everyone. This is Director Marlon Green. I don't put on dresses, but I can use the avatar to get through to the sissies because they seem to be living in the world all their own. And a lot of things that goes on that we men don't like, but we have to put up with it because of the system. I find it really hard to believe that most women don't know what equal rights and equal opportunity mean. And I can give you many examples. Like last year, after they beat up on the Boy Scouts waging wars, sissies last year, the Girl Scouts insist that we buy their cookies this year. I say don't buy their cookies anymore. Go to the dollar store and say it. Every fucking morning, I wake up with a neck injury. I have two bulging discs and two herniated discs, and I'm not down with the fucking Me Too movement or the opiate addiction movement. The opiate addiction movement is smoke and mirrors because I have two herniated discs and two bulging discs and I don't have any fucking health care. A uh, MRI was overdue five years ago and the politicians tell the insurance companies and the jobs don't help black men. And so when you women get your asses up with all of these just feminine ideas and you are passing up Jim Crow laws, slavery, economic exploitation, how come you women are always begging with higher numbers and can afford to ignore a Hall of Famer or anyone that out qualifies you. Let me tell you, because y'all ain't shit. Anytime that you sacrifice your prosperity off of your men devise, you've been conditioned and you're the only ones, African Americans, that speak for every other culture but your own. I'm filing the human rights complaints. I'm filing on NAACP. I'm filing human rights complaints on the Republican Party, Democratic Party, Gay and Lesbian Party. Economic development complaints across the board. These women fuck for power and money, then complain on their bosses and take their shit with sexual harassment charges 10, 20, 30 years later when you can't even recognize my work, say good job, or do anything to help us. Instead, you grab prostitutes and whores, give them modeling and photography jobs, and then they snub me and my beautiful girls, and we are college students. The University of North Texas are trying to uh, play down the significance of black films and put only white kids films and documentaries in we're going to put out a notice that all of these film festivals need to come out with a mission statement and a job of the movie description so that we don't copy off each other and also uh the professors need to understand that Hall of Famers outrank you. So get your head out your ass when we tell you something. You can call Martin Luther King name, but he's left those Confederate statues up. You can call Malcolm X name, uh, but I'm the one that got religious rights reform in the U.S. Army, letting the Sikhs wear their turbans and things like that. Y'all are getting challenged at every turn with all of this bullshit. They don't care. I spend all my time doing real community service work because they're too busy selling pussy. Any feminine groups that look past Jim Crow, slavery, 
is not talked about enough. High incarceration for blacks, lack of real opportunities for black men, while the black women keep prospering and gold digging. Black bitches are phony when it comes to equal rights. I complain about insurance companies. Sam on NBC5 calls white folks and only help white folks. Y'all bitches ain't shit. This is my me and the wounded warriors are taking on insurance companies and doctors on our own. And as you feminine groups that turn a blind eye, it's more important issues are Luciferian. Uh, Donald Trump, I had a couple of other issues with Donald Trump, his poor performance. Overall, the tax bill not being signed is the Republicans' fault. But this particular time, it's the Democrats' fault because they wrapped in DACA with tax reform bill and so President Trump is going to have a, a choice. Either he's going to support DACA or he's going to support the border wall. I support the border wall. It does not have to be that tall and that expensive. The harder that it becomes to get funding, the cheaper the fence will get. I don't give a fuck if y'all put a regular fence that you put around the house. We need a fence to make these illegal immigrants uh, more responsible in their own country because Mexico uh, have a lot of unfair policies and a lot of problems with drug cartels. And like 60, 70,000 people a year get killed. That's not our fault, okay? That's the 80 families that control Mexico's fault. You know, America is a capitalist society, but there are other things that other countries can do, uh, like be diligent, work hard, don't expect to get handouts, be consistent across the board and not with just women and feminine. Because the feminists will let certain guys get in charge so they can control them. And then they'll uh, snub real men's work. Y'all getting challenged at every turn. And uh, it's best that y'all start transitioning now because the longer that it take for you to transition, the longer it'll take for y'all to improve.